there were really two differences in DBO6 compared to DBO4, which was our other trial that looked at HER2 low. First was that this was first line cytotoxic therapy. So it didn't require, you know, a previous cytotoxic uh, like DBO6 did. And the second was this inclusion of patient population that was so-called ultra low. And so that's really an IHC of zero with less than 10%. Uh, staining. So, you know, kind of even going uh, lower in the how low can we go with trastuzumab deruxtecan in terms of HER2 expression. Really encouraging data. When we look at HER2 low, which was the primary endpoint, it was 13.2 months versus 8.1 months. And when we specifically look at that group of IHC zeros that were HER2 low, ultra low, very similar, 13.2 months versus 8.3 months. So, you know, my takeaways really are that I think we can go even lower uh, for trastuzumab deruxtecan in terms of activity, and it's clearly beating chemotherapy in these patients. And the second is, is this is a drug that's likely much reasonable, uh, much more reasonable to use earlier. Uh, we don't necessarily need to use intervening cytotoxics before we use it. It is important to note, though, that this does come after endocrine therapies. So 85% of patients had received at least two prior lines of endocrine therapy. So we should exhaust our endocrine therapies before we move to the antibody drug conjugates. I really see these as a chemotherapy substitute. Excellent.